All right, what's going on guys? Today I have another awesome install on my 2013 Hyundai Elantra GT. Now as you can see, I'm gonna be painting the brake calipers with this Dupacolor um, caliper paint kit. Now a huge thanks to the guys over at Dupacolor for sending this kit out for me to test. Um, I'm pretty excited about this as my calipers are pretty worn and uh, there's really not a lot of paint left. So I'm definitely interested to try this out. Now before we waste any more time, let's go ahead and see what comes in the kit and then go ahead and get started. So taking a look at the box itself, as you guys can see I went with silver again as um, I'm just looking for another clean OEM appearance. But um, taking a look at what comes in the box, we have uh, an 11 ounce caliper cleaner, 8 ounce paint, um, brush, stir stick, masking tape, uh, and instructions. Now each kit will do 4 calipers. Um, obviously, depending on the size of the caliper determines the number of coats you'll be able to get, but since mine are very small and most cars are very small, um, I should easily be able to get enough coats out of one kit, so really all you need is one kit. There's some more info about the kit. Instructions on the back side. Now I would recommend from what I've seen online getting um, better paint brushes to apply this with as the one it provided isn't necessarily the best quality so I went ahead and picked up a couple other brushes at my uh, local craft store um, that's just something I've seen online so I went ahead and did it just in case so um, that may be something you guys want to look into as well now the first thing you guys want to do is break the lug nuts loose as you will be having to take all four wheels off the car so I already have it on race ramps as I cannot get my jack under the car without race ramps so I'm just going to break the lug nuts loose now and then um, jack up the car and remove all four wheels and tires. Alright, so after all four wheels and tires are off the car, you want to take the included caliper cleaner and spray down um, all of the caliper that you were going to paint, as this will strip down all the old contaminants that are on it, the grease, the dirt, everything that you basically don't want on it before you paint. And then allow it to sit and thoroughly dry and repeat as necessary if you have a very dirty caliper. Um, like mine maybe here. I don't know if I'm gonna do one or two coats, but we'll see after the first cleaning. Now after you guys have thoroughly cleaned the caliper, you want to tape off certain pieces of your caliper. Um, basically the bleeder screw, um, the, the rubber, um, I guess, sleeves right here. Anything that you really don't want to get paint on that really isn't part of the uh, metal itself, um, you want to tape off. All right, so here's what I ended up masking off on my Elantra. The slide piston boot, um, some of the brake line, I believe the bleeder valve, and the uh, other boot on the bottom. This should be more than enough. Um, I'll just be very careful not to get it on the rotor or anything like that. Um, you can mask off the rotor if you'd like, but it is not necessary as long as you have, I guess, a steady hand uh, and, and are careful. Now for the back, I did a very similar masking job. Both the rubber boots, top and bottom, as well as a bleeder valve and stuff in the back. 
Now this should be even easier to paint uh, since there's obviously less rotor to get the paint on as well as is small caliper so uh, not much to paint and uh, should be very quick to do. Now this is where I'm going to switch to the brush I went out and purchased. Now you can go ahead and use the brush in the kit, no problem at all. Um, just I've right aligned some things with the um, little fibers falling out and getting into the paint. So I'm just going to go ahead and use the one I bought. solid coats actually. Um, the first one I made sure to get almost full coverage on and then uh, each coat after did the same and added a little thickness as well. So I think I'm going to just stick with three solid coats. Um, it's getting late here and I want to cure overnight. Speaking of curing, um, it recommends 24 hours of cure time. Um, I'm going to give it uh, about 15 hours or so before I have to drive the car. Um, I've seen some reviews online say they only let, you know, six hours or so and it was fine. Uh, so I'm thinking 15 hours should be plenty of time for drying and curing on these brake calipers. Um, they shouldn't be getting wet tomorrow or anything like that, so that's a benefit. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm going to go ahead and put the third coat on the rest of the calipers and I'll get back to you guys. the next day and uh, calipers look pretty dry. Now let me go ahead and bring you guys in and we'll take a closer look at each caliper and how I think they turned out. Alright so here's a closer look at the uh, front passenger side caliper. I think it turned out very good actually. Um, this was the one I started on so you, had, you can see I got a little bit of paint on the uh, outside of the brake pad but won't hurt anything. Now I did choose to do um, some on the back side of the caliper here. This is all optional since you really won't see it at all. So uh, all that stuff that I did, pretty optional, but uh, did clean the caliper up a ton and I uh, definitely love the way it looks now. And here's a quick look at one of the rear calipers much smaller than the front so it was a lot quicker to paint but I did uh, some of the same things on the back here and painted pretty much the entire caliper that I could get to I think it just looks way better gives it a much better look um, obviously I only need to paint about half of it um, as that's the only part that's visible but wasn't too bad to paint the whole thing and definitely is worth it in my opinion. Now just having this wheel um, set on the car, I can already tell you it's going to make a big difference in the appearance. You can actually see the caliper now and it's not just blending in as some nasty 
old piece of metal back there actually has some color to it so uh, I think that's definitely gonna look very good on the car all right so hope you guys enjoyed this video on how to paint your brake calipers using this Duplicolor brush on paint kit now I want to extend a huge thanks to Duplicolor again for setting this kit out for me to test and I guess review um, I'll keep you guys updated on how it holds up over time um, certainly I'll make a video if something goes wrong with it um, if nothing goes wrong, then I may do a six month or a year update. So with all that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button. If you found it helpful, comment down below. Let me know which color uh, you're going to do to your car. And I'll see you guys in the next video.